to Article uh, 11. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Fire Department Supervisory Association Local 3017, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing level over the amount paid in the prior fiscal year. In 2018, for a 39-week segment, the estimated increase is $55,514. For the full year in 2019, the estimated increase is $74,283. And in 2020, a portion of 2020, a 13-week portion, the estimated increase is $10,571. And to further raise and appropriate $55,514 for the current fiscal year, such sum representing the additional costs attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits required by the new agreement over those that would be paid at current staffing levels. A majority vote is required. This has been recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 7-2. The fiscal impact note, the estimated 2018 tax impact on $55,514 is 1.7 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 11 moved by Mr. Bean, seconded by Mr. Bridal? Mr. Sullivan, would you like to be heard on Article 11? Yes, Mr. Honor, thank you. Um, this is a two-year agreement with the Fire Supervisors Association. Calls for a 3%, 3% on each of those two years. Uh, in addition, there's uh, the insurance issues, as we talked about the other group, the migration to the new prescription plan uh, with the reimbursement pool, the language uh, to protect the town with regard to the Cadillac tax. I think it's important to note also there was an agreement, a concession, that the uh, union will pay more towards its total health insurance and migration uh, with a uh, further percentage over the life of the contract. Uh, the opt-out provisions we discussed before in this as well. And there was also two additions for uh, a longevity pay section and education incentives. Uh, the board uh, asked for your support uh, for this union as well. We be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone wishing to be heard? Sir. Chief Ayotte. Thank you. My name is Jameson Ayotte, and I, I have the honor of serving as your fire chief. Uh, today I speak in favor of the Fire Department Supervisory Association Local 3017 to provide these um, professionals provide day-to-day -day leadership of the Fire Department and they include the Deputy Chief, four Captains, four Lieutenants, the EMS Officer, the Fire Prevention Officer, and two Departmental Secretaries. Uh, they work day and night to maintain the safety of the crews and provide for the highest quality customer service as well as provide for the safety of the community and all of her visitors. Um, their professionalism and hard work are the foundation of the fire department, and I would ask that you support these professionals and that give their very best every day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 11? Mike Briller, Dade Pine Road. I'm the president of Local 3017, Hampton Fire Supervisor Association. I just want to tell you a little bit who we are. Uh, Deputy Chief, the captains, the captains of the shift commanders, the lieutenants, take care of the beach district, fire prevention officer, takes care of all the buildings in town to make sure they're all under safe codes, that everybody's safe compliant. EMS officer who trains a lot of people, CPR, takes care of all of our certifications to make sure that our EMTs, which are now advanced, and paramedics are up to full qualifications to serve the people of this town. Um, our secretaries, we've got a fire department secretary, we've got a fire prevention officer secretary. Um, I moved to this town in 1985, got on the call department in 1986, got hired permanent in 1994, became a paramedic in 1996, and got promoted to a lieutenant in 2012. I proudly serve this town and the people in it, and I urge you to vote yes on Article 11, March 13th. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brilliard. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Good morning. Um, my name is Jed Carpentier. I'm here today to speak as president of the Professional Firefighters of Hampton. And I obviously rise in support of Article 11. And I'd just like to say for the sake of time that you can apply my same logic to Articles 10 and 12 as well. Um, I support the employees. We hope that you will as well. They're the people that behind the scenes are the making things happen in this town and, and keeping things running. And uh, the only opposition I've really heard to it is, well, sometimes 3% is just too rich. But when you look at the logic that you apply when somebody goes out of contract for a year and then break that 3% down, and if somebody's been out longer than a year, 
that percentage just keeps going down and down. So it's really not 3% for some of these folks that have been out multiple years. Um, but uh, thank you to the negotiation team for a uh, fair negotiation and negotiated in good faith. Thank you to the board and the audience today for your time. And uh, thank you to the employees that continue to do the work. And I encourage everybody to vote yes on uh, 10, 11, and 12. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carpentier. Anyone else wishing to be heard, Mr. Bean? Very quickly, Mr. Moderator, thank you. Again, uh, is my remarks on uh, Article 10 uh, for the local 3017 as part of the negotiating team. And as a selectman and a citizen, I urge uh, your enthusiastic support for this article. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you. Mr. Griffin? Rick Griffin, 529 Ocean Boulevard. I just want to say that I'm very much in support of this and the following article that's coming up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 11? No. Seeing none, Article 11 will appear on the ballot as printed.